something feminine. Yes. Stealthy. Stealthy tools? No. No, that's not gonna work. Why is this always the hardest part? I got it. Alright, so her name is now... Sly Boots. Let's see, tutorial. I gave it a quick little mini test here, so I think... Nah, nah, what the hell. Go with it. Let's see, three different playing styles. Now, I just became aware of this game a couple of days ago. Um, well, actually, not a couple of days ago, literally yesterday, someone brought it to my attention at MAGFest that uh, it's a new indie game called Heroine's Quest, which is exactly like Hero's Quest, or King Arrow Quest for Glory, except with a female protagonist. From what I've seen, it's actually been very good. The music is original, the graphics are great, and I can I can see where they drew a lot of their inspiration from, and they even quote Laurie and Corey Cole as being their main inspiration for the, uh, for the game. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be any good or not. It seems like a lot of work went into it, so I think it's definitely worth a shot. Before we get into... Uh, you know, our regular Quest for Glory Let's Play later on in the day. But this is sort of, you know, get us back into it. Now, we know she's going to be a rogue. She was born as a rogue. She will die as a rogue. Now, I noticed that um, there are a few different abilities now. You got your, your average, like strength, endurance, will, you know, um, But there's also, you know, acrobatics, which we are innate. Interesting left animal Ken, which shows how good you are at understanding and dealing with animals, which is kind of funky. Um, magic and pairing, don't really care about. And then herbalism lets you forage and brew your own potions, which sounds kind of interesting. So I think just for the sake of giving this a try for the first time, we're going to take these two abilities, which are probably... I don't even know where they would come from. Like, who would use this innately? Herbalism is probably more of a magic user thing, but Tevs, let's give it a shot. And it is fully voiced, so thankfully, because my voice is still a bit rang from MAGFest, I don't have to worry about straining it too much, but this one's not. Midgard! As Odin, never mind. Alright, so, it appears that we have a lone heroine traveling from place to place, doing her adventurer's gig. That's pretty much all we know. So, we, we kind of pick up... It's almost like picking up the second part of a sequel, you know? Let's see, where'd my window go? Hang on. There we go. And even from the little bit that I've played up until this point, which has been barely nothing, as it go down. Well, adventure is over already. I missed the quick time event. My bad. Um, what was I about to say? God, I'm so tired. I'm so out of it. Don't mind me at all. And I just realized I kind of messed up the chat window here. Alright, that'll be now. That'll be good for now. When the chat Let's fills up go. a little bit, I'll find you. We have returned. Very good. 
I've also noticed that the, uh, oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. The voice acting the is actually will be dead by now. fairly well done. Mm, up to this point, I've only played about five minutes of it. Uh, the quality is pretty good. <laughs> um, the main Dirt bad guy has a something to be desired, the but it, yeah, the point oh, gets through. Yeah. The point gets through. And I we believe this was done with AGS, job. Adventure Game uh, System, or the, uh, pleased, you know, whatever that design tool out there that's uh, fairly Insufferable free. fools! Fairly free. Do you realize that humans do not turn to stone in daylight? Um, and I, I never you actually humans explored do the site before. Stone. The first time I this went there was, was to find idea. this game that someone told me about, and it was not. You said there it seems first. to be a you pretty such a large liar. wealth How of, dare you call of me uh, independently published adventure games out there. Which are, of hearing which are kind, of, kind of fun to play with from time Shut to time. Up. Oddly enough, often because, um Yes, my a lot of the websites I at visited your service, to just monster. kind of check up on this game and see what it's all about. It is that we obtain the eyes. That awful, um... You know who your other targets are. Half, uh, fan game, the big man. Which, uh, yeah, and was, the small was really, really, Precisely. really bad. Do I played about halfway through game. it, and then I, I got to all the bouncing and then I'm like, no, no, no. As you say, I mean, even people within the modding group and Quest for Glory fans and adventure game makers have go, basically have, uh, go, discounted quickly. that game as a, they just call it like a porn game and dismiss it. Really quiet. All right, let me turn myself up. There we go. How's that? Can you hear me now? Doesn't really matter. I was not saying anything too important. You are awake. More or less. My head feels like it was struck by a thunderbolt. At least you are warm. My husband found you outside in the snow. This is not a good winter for traveling. So it would appear. Thank you for taking me here. I am in your debt. No need for that. You can really tell that her voice sleeps on a down on. pillow. She's still trying to pick her those feathers out of her hair. Come on, I lady. The Guild here Take some pride in your appearance. I live here with my husband Voland and our son Jaime. Are you the guildmaster? No, merely the caretaker. Is there something you need of the guild? Uh, Nito, I like just started it. I've only played like literally up until this point just to see if it was worth playing. So this, it's basically blind from here on out. Are there other adventurers here? None, save yourself. None, save yourself! What is in the chest in the corner? None of your business. You can use it to store your equipment. Nobody else shall touch its contents. Can you train me? We shall see. Draw your weapon. Okay, so the lady, the caretaker with the feathers in her head is going to teach me how to swing a dagger. Uh, let's see, keyboard controls. Um, let's see, either use the arrow keys and home and page up, page down, which... Not bad, it's way over here, but I can move it this way. On a laptop, use QE. Oh god. Okay. This uh this seems a little bit complicated, but let's give it a try. Uh let's see. X button to escape and combat. Enemies seem to give you opening between their attacks, strike them. So it looks like the battle system is reminiscent of the Quest for Glory 2 remake. And you're facing the wrong way, Chica. Alright, let's see. Move forward to strike. You have three attack maneuvers. Some work better against certain enemies. Move diagonally away to dodge. Learn when to dodge left and when right. It looks like it's more down to tuned down. towards this the numpad here. Let's see if that works. You. you may learn special maneuvers later. There we go. So you gotta turn numlock off. Right, dodging, dodging. Do not forget that you can run away oh. from most enemies. All right, I'm sure that wastes a dagger. All right, so we got swipe, jab, and then left jab, which is kind of cool. I like the dual wielding style. Middle button doesn't do anything. So. Move forward to strike. Duck, da da, hoo ah, yeah, hoo ah. Okay. You have three attack maneuvers. Some work better okay, against yeah, certain yeah, enemies. Point, that is enough training for now. As you wish. Damn, okay, I leveled up and everything. Uh, set combat difficulty in the control panel, low difficulty. Okay, cool. Uh oh. 
Uh, game. Okay, good. Thought something, something froze there for a second. We're all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's a combat difficulty. Death from starvation and frostbite. Uh, and reduces encounter rate. Highest difficulty increases these. Interesting. All right, I'll have to check to see what that is. Um, I already asked for this. What can you tell me about the city? For Insectuna. Walk around and you shall see. What an odd name. Who is your husband? His name is Voland. He is the city smith and father to our son, Jaime. Jaime. Where in the forest did you find me? My husband it's is the one It's good to know that after spending the night uh, under, underneath an avalanche, our hair still looks great. I bid you farewell. You must be hungry. By the gods, I feel like I haven't eaten in days. You need some nectar. You likely have not. I would extend hospitality to you, but we have little food to spare. It is a harsh winter, and we have our son to feed. It's interesting how a lot of the um, a lot of the character you portraits look soon, like they. Starve. I don't want to say been modified from other me, games, but, to be missing. but you'll notice know. really obviously when I, I start sure controlling the main protagonist that her woods. character, her you sprite or model, is based exactly yes, on Zarya. Zarya. Xanthia, I think her name was, from um, Carandia, most most notably uh, Hand of Fate, the second one. When I start moving around, I'll really point it out. Yeah, I think this game would pass the Bechdel test, and it really looks like she has rabbit ears. All right, so let me let me move her down here, and you can really see, because she adopts the same pose that Xanthia does. Yep, there she is, with that little hand on the hip thing. Yeah, that's her. Not that I, I you know, no, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it, but... That's something I noticed. Kind of a nice little homage. So at least you know that the people who created this game are true, uh, you know, died in the woad adventure game fans. Let's see. Diaries of past heroes. How did she know what I was looking at? Let's see. I don't know an animal. Interesting. This comes from an evil wizard. No, that comes from a moose. Wizards' heads are different. Trolls are common in these lands. Or is a young and frail looking woman in a plain blue dress. She speaks in a hushed voice and rarely smiles. You feel an aura of sadness around her. Oh, well, you know the first thing we gotta do? We gotta sign this logbook with a flourish. Let's see. Take out the Quinn sign name and love into logbook without a flourish. But it's okay. You don't wanna you're not they're not ripping off the game. It's it's actually not even an homage, it's just done in the style. I like a hang next to the uh, quest board. It appears to depict a farmhouse in small lettering indicating that it was donated by the hero of Spielberg. Interesting. It's a little bit pixelated, so I can't make it out of its art from the original game, but it looks like it's original. Ah, good, the board. Corey is to deliver a letter. Please inquire at Slipner's Tavern. Mystic. Arvindel seeks mystic herbs of mystical power for use in a ritual my mysticism. Mystical, mystical, mystical. Male pay and two mystical, 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 mystical. Alright, I did take herbalism, so that's something I can do. I, Jarl Ufling. God, it's like a cross between Quest for Glory and Skyrim. Um, promise a reward of 500 silver to the one who can end the Fimble Winter that plagues our lands. And also half Dr. Seuss, and also half Bad with Fractions. The assistance of a brave hero is requested to repel an invasion of dastardly goblins. We uh, direct your inquiries to King Vortigern in the realm of Thalen. Great. And like maybe can add another half of um, Lord of the Rings in there somewhere. Is something glinting on this wall? Hot Mimi's Holt is not meant to be frozen. And Mimi's Holt? It's not very heroic to take something out of the guild house, even though you're a thief besides you're one of the you think one of the apples of Idun would be much more useful to you than a mere seed? Why is it sparkling? Hot Mimi's Holt is not meant to be frozen. Right. It was slain by the last gift. This lindworm is very old. No, he's not aging anymore. He's dead. Pelt of a slain animal lies on the floor. Appears to have rather large bear. Looks rather comfortable next to the fireplace. Um, well, let's check out the mechanics here. Um... <laughs> You'll make a mess of the logbook by signing it with your tongue. Try using the quill instead. It's not very difficult. 
Nice touch. All right, I see the use of some sense of humor in the game. So the mouth cursor also doubles as a lick icon. Not sure if you want to talk to this gorilla. I'm pretty sure you now it can't because it's dead. <laughs> wow, right, they really put a lot of work into this. Well, why not try a holiday in Sweden this year? See the lovely legs and the wonderful telephone system. Many interesting furry animals. All right, also Monty Python fans. Let's see if she has anything more to say, but she doesn't. Let's uh, see, a storage closet for the purpose of heroism is best ignored. The janitor has no business saving the world. Oh, zing. I'm really hoping that they did not pour all of their heart and soul into this first screen and then kind of neg you know, neglected the rest. Because I've seen that happen. Like, the very first screen will have all of their best writing and everything in it. But, um, let's see. All right. Very nice. I feel like you haven't eaten in several days. You must take care of that before you starve. So just finding something edible sounds like a good idea. It's unfortunate that you lost your pack of supplies and toolkit in the avalanche. If nobody took it, you have to still where you left it. No, the icon in the top left corner appear when you're hungry, freezing, under a similar condition. Interesting. You have like Hello. You must be the new status traveling. effects. My name is Jaime. Heine. Mother and I took care of you when father dragged you out of the snow. Are you better now? You were really cold when you came in. I am well enough. Thanks to your help. What brave warrior are you? I am Jaime Volnson, warrior in training in the service of Yarl Ilfu. I'm going to be a mighty dragon slayer. I am learning to fight really well. Got my own sword, too. Next year I go study tactics so I can be a big leader. What is Sponsiktuna like? It is the best city in the world. The strong walls here can stand against any troll. Well, you and I can climb over it, but trolls are too dumb for that. We are ruled by good y'all, and my father is his smith and supplier. Is that not great? What city could be better? In short. Can you tell me of your father? My father is the best smith in Midgard. He works for y'all Ilfing and makes weapons for his soldiers. He is real strong, too. And he teaches me to use the sword. All right, so we found the, um... The fighting trainer. And what about your mother? My mother takes care of the Venturers Guild. She does not talk a lot, but she's really strong too. How is your training going? You are a Venturer, are you not? My mother said you were venturing and staying at the Venturing Guild. I want to be a Venturer when I am bigger. I get to travel anywhere, and everybody likes them because they have courage and honor. Kid, you are talking that to the wrong the right thief. Thing. Courage and honor are not in my vocab. Even if you do not like them, and you cannot threaten folks just because you are stronger, and then you get to kill dragons. Let us speak of the woodlands. It is a farce around Fort Sigtuna. It is full of wolves and trolls, so Mother says I must not go too far from the city wall. There's lots of trees, of course, but there may be another village somewhere. There could even be Jabberwocks in the woods. Dun, dun, dun. So what is a Jabberwock? I have not seen that creature, but Mother told me it has jaws that bite and claws that catch, and it has a fur that goes jub-jub. It is so frumious, you know, that you must be very brilliant to catch it in the Barragoves. Are the trolls dangerous? Trolls are big and strong, and they are very stupid. I am not afraid of trolls, and when I grow up, I will go into the forest with my sword, and they shall call me Troll Slayer. Since you are a heroine, I'm sure you can slay trolls already. I hope you will make our forest safe again for all of us. Is that a wooden sword? Yes, I have a real sword. I call it Blood Gang. My father has made a very Blood magical gang. sword and put it in a tree. I think it is for me, and I am strong enough. But I need to train first. Well, thanks for telling me that. Yoink! Can you tell me where to find food? Most people go into the forest when they need food. There are animals you can kill and eat, like a boar. And there are also roots and plants to eat, but I like good meat better. Good luck with your training. Come back soon and tell me about your ventures. Uh, as you've seen, I like options to turn green. Just spoken about them. Okay. Character reactions may depend on who else is in the room. Interesting. For instance, asking about Volan may give different results if Volan is present. It lets you miss important information. Dialogue. Interesting. Okay. Can I look at the letters? 
no. Okay, this game seems to have a little bit of depth to it, and I like this. Alright, oh, first of all, let's see what we have up here. Is it blah, 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 blah. Inventory, uh, health and stamina, I'd imagine. Alright, so I was able to save 10 silver coins. Uh, my twin daggers, I have three throwing daggers left. And leather armor. Okay, here's my encumbrance. I'm already at like half capacity. Great. Alright, not bad. Let's see, so we have normal, running, sneaky, acrobatic leaps, resting, sleeping, change active weapons. Interesting. whoop -a. Cool. Well, wow, that takes off a lot of stamina. Well, since we are a thief, we shall sneak everywhere. As is all want. See, this looks to be a horse with 18 legs. Uh, so there's an elegant drawing of sleep near an eight-legged. Oh, great horse that Odin rides. Dang, I was about to make fun of the. Oh, it's like, oh, you messed up your art, and it turned out it was completely intentional. Don't I feel like an asshole? Turned out there's a s snowflake up there, and my stamina is dwindling, so which means I have frostbite. But now I'm indoors, and now it's gone. Okay, so that makes perfect sense. Okay. Oh, it's dripping the dragon's blood. It's in the back wall. Two huge barrels that require several people to put into place. They smell of strong drink. Plate with some slices of meat. A few days old. wonder if I can sneak my way over there. And just, uh, just gobble it up. Let's save here. So I'm just not sure how the mechanics work here yet. Uh, let's see. This... Here, save. Sly Boots is born. Let's see what other options we can play around with. Uh, let's see, sound speech, text advances automatically. Uh, let's turn the speed up a little bit. And you know what? Just I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the difficulty up to sort of medium here. I have faith in my abilities. Okay, let's see if we can steal this. Oh, you take it quietly and sneak out of the room. You found food using the steel, stealth, steel, 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 steel. Many tasks in the game required to have minimal level in order. Train skills. Click the face button. Uh, let's see, marked in green. Well, I didn't want to leave the room. And I'm still hungry. Did I not eat it, or is it just in my inventory? This meat will feed the elite a treat. Weighs three merker. Uh. Uh, that tastes good. No fear, I feel like you're starving. Good. Now let's see if I can get back in there. Maybe she'll call me a thief or zap me like uh, the Game Boy Zelda game. Nope, didn't notice. But they did move the plate, so I guess they. S oh dear. You must be the new traveler in town. Hervor has told me about you and your ordeal in the snow. It is good to see a new face, and news from the rest of the world. And so I bid you welcome to the Sleipnir Tavern. Please tell me about yourself. My name is Lithraseer. I run the Sleipnir Inn, meaning I keep the people in town here happy in the face of Ragnarok through judicious application of alcohol. Sleipnir is the eight-legged steed of Odin the Single-Eyed. Loki, forger of evil, had hired a mighty frost giant to construct a keep for him. But the Jotun would only be paid if the task was done within three seasons. So, to ensure the Jotun's work would run late... Interesting. I only Loki know all these words because I played Skyrim. ...to distract the Jotun's horse from helping Jotun him. and Jarl and... worked, uh. and the Jotun left without payment. But, as a result, Loki the Giant's thief gave birth to the horse Sleipnir. Well, I was kind of asking more about yourself, uh, but if you want to tell me the history about Odin's horse, so be it. What can you tell me about the city? Lots of things, if you want to hear them. Being a barkeep means you hear all the tales. Some people get very talkative in my inn, if they cannot pass out from a drink too many. Tell me of Boland the Smith. 
the local smith frequently comes to the sleep near in for a drink and some gambling. A good enough fellow, if a bit quiet for my taste. Hervor is really happy with him. What do you know about Hervor? Hervor is my closest friend here in Forn Sigtuna, and she runs the Adventurer's Guild. I promise you, the two of us would never gossip about you. In front of you? Surely you have met Jaime. Of course I Didn't have. I just tell you he that his mother was my best friend? Yes, of course we met! And his wooden sword. <laughs> I bet he would charge straight at a dragon, if we had any. What do you know of Munarvagir? Oh, the people from Munavagir are nice enough. At least, one of them is. Did you need a letter delivered? Yes, I do. There are not many people traversing the forest in the Thimble Winter, and some of us have gotten it into our heads that Munavagir is somehow our enemy. So, I would like you to find your way through all the evil snow, talk to the oh-so-scary humans in Munavagir, and give this letter to the resident healer. Lith is his name. I would like to buy some of your wares. You are welcome to them. What can I get for you? What are you buying? Let's see. We have some mead, stamina potion, cooking herbs, rations for sale. Don't really need that right now. I, 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 I'm going to save my money. I would like to have a stamina potion. Let me see. Chances are... If I know my adventure game, she's not going to have it, and she's going to need some sort of reagent. Please sell me a stamina potion. I stock some stamina potions brewed by Lith, the kind healer in Munavagir. I am told they even give you the resilience to withstand poison. Hmm. Would you like nice one? Nice perk. Uh, let's see. I only have ten bucks, but you can barter, which is nice. Um, but I'm going to save my money. And I don't really need these things. I wish you good health. Be careful out there. Yanvadir is dangerous, and the winter is cold. Let's see. I see. I think it looks like I've uh, I've upped my stats fairly well. I'm not really sure what the maximum is. I can only assume it's 100, but they're really starting out pretty low for that. So maybe it's 50. I don't know. We shall see. All right. Oh, and I have this letter, right? Yes. Negligible weight. I like how they make your money a negligible weight as well. That's quite nice. All right. Endurance plus one. Great. Uh, let's see. There appears to be a door here. It's vaguely door-like, but you're pretty sure it's a door after all. There's no sign above it. Let's see if it's something we can explore. Lock tight. Um, oh, and I don't have a thieves' toolkit yet, so we still got to find... Toolkit. My guess is all these doors are going to be locked, except for the ones that have signs above them. A snowman! And a woodpecker. Old woodpecker barely managed to keep the weight of the... That's you know, just a bird. Cute little snowman lightens up this otherwise drab and quiet corner of Fort Tuna. You wave at the snowman. It may be just a trick of the wind, but you're pretty sure one of its arms moves to wave back at you. And talk to it. How cold. So this is the provision merchant. Looks like it's been closed down for quite some time. Well, tattered building, you know that's gotta be the Thieves Guild. Nope. Alright, uh, let's remember that building, because you're it might be thievy. Doors locked tight. Okay. Well at least we're learning our way around. That's important. Hello. One of Jarl Ufling's guards stands nearby, ne neatly dressed in a uniform bearing the crest of Force of Tuna, etc. How can I help you? Oh, God, what's wrong with your eyes? Please tell me about yourself. I am a soldier of Fonsic Tuna in the fields of Jarl Ufling. What is Fonsic Tuna like? Fonsic Tuna is the capital of this region and a powerful trade city between the forest and the vast seas. The walls were put up by Odin Greybeard himself and stand strong against all the wolves and trolls in the region. 
You look a lot <laughs> like the last guard I spoke to. Are you saying all people from this country look alike to you? I find that rather insulting. I bid you. You're welcome. Puppy! Gazing back at you is a sleek and muscular hunting dog. He bears the symbol of Yar Ofling around his neck, appears to be well trained. Puppy! Friendly gaze doesn't otherwise respond. Animal. Oh! I was just about to bring up, I have this ability called Animal Ken, which allows me to talk to the animals, Dr. Doolittle style. Now I notice. Oh shit, alright. Um, I appear to be getting frostbit rather badly, so let's. Can we go? Have no, business here. no, I can't go in there. Alright, so I'm gonna have to find shelter quickly, otherwise, I am going to die. Let's go in here really quick before I die of frostbite. The, the guards outside are like almost, you know, naked. Welcome to my smithy, traveler. It is good to see you have recovered to fight once more. These are troubled times for Fornsetuna, with trolls and worse on the loose, and a harsh winter that has lasted longer than it should. Tell me who you are. I am Voland, son of Arkvith, blacksmith of Fornsetuna, and proven warrior to the Jarl. I live in the northeast part of the city, with my wife Hervor and our son Jaime. What can you tell me about the city? Fornsigtuna is the grandest city in this part of Midgard. It is the capital of Janvadir and the major trade destination on Lake Ganvik. There is a village southeast of here, which is under protection of our Jarl, even though the inhabitants do not wish to be. What do you know about Hervor? Beautiful Hervor and I are happily married, and we have our son Jaime growing up to be a fine warrior. He's not doing such a fine job. He's holding his wooden sword over the fire. How is your son doing? I am very proud of Jaime. He is already shaping up to become a powerful warrior. It will not be long before he wields a true blade instead of a wooden one. He practices every day. What do you think of Lithrasir? The Lady Lithrasia runs the local tavern, Sleipnir's Inn. She's a good friend of my wife. I want to thank you for saving me. Think nothing of it. I would not have anyone freeze to death in the Fimble Winter. Where in the forest did you find me? The woods of Yonvadir surround us in all directions. I found you northeast of here, partly buried under an avalanche. You are lucky that your bright cloak stood out against the snow. There were tracks of a troll nearby, so if you are missing anything, it is likely the trolls have it. All right. You had best be careful when traveling. In the Fimble Winter, there are fierce wolves and trolls about, and all of them hungry. I would like to buy some of your wares. I craft the finest weapons and armor in this land. I bet she wants a big weapon. Best heroes always have the biggest swords, and sharp ones too. You're gonna learn, kid. Warhammers, shit. Buy a pick, chainmail, dagger, throwing daggers, battle axe. Um. I will buy this pick from you. It is a simple tool, but well crafted. I would be happy to sell it to you. Are you talking about like a lock pick or like a. Okay, like a real pick. I have a feeling this might come in. Oh, an ice pick. I have a feeling this will come in great handy. Um. It's 10, and that's literally all of my money. Let's wait, but I'm going to keep this in mind. And he also has daggers. Let us speak later. May your blade always be keen. Jigan boy. What is it? I... Okay. My armor saves lives, and only a true berserker would fight without protecting himself. Well, lots of very pretty... What's this up here? That gemstone is none of your business. Oh, dear. Well, you know we need that. Uh, let's see. Lots of swords, coals... Not much else to do in here, but... At least I am no longer dying of frostbite. And, of course, that permanently drains my stamina, this frostbite thing does. I'm not sure if I like this mechanic very much. Uh, well, I guess I can just rest in here. Let's do that. Rest. That's not my inventory. It's over here. Aw, oh, she even squats down. 
There we go. And, oh, all the way back up. Good. I like that. Probably shouldn't get you too used to that, since once I get more stamina, we know that's going to go away. Okay. Let's see. What's up here? Nice view over the city. Let's go check it out. Good idea. Oh, a pair of boots stands outside the house, left out to dry, lined with fur, prepared very well made, recently used. Well, mine now. You try the boots, find they fit you well enough, they are certainly warmer than your old boots. Score! Uh, let's see. Reduces the impact of freezing cold. Cool. Well, sorry owners of house. Far from the other side. Well, that's all there is here. Not that great view of the city that they were promising me. A nice view of a chimney, though. Oh, dear. Okay, I thought I got busted. The guards are downstairs waiting for me. It's like, aha, we set up a trap. Uh, lots of birds. Alright, let's go in and remove the frostbite. Look, these guys are out there with bare arms and stuff. Oh, wait, now they're gone. Let's see if we can talk to him about his wife. you walking around again. Not many people can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell I'm my lip. Uh. What? What? There is a. What do you know of? Beautiful Hervor and I are happy. No, it doesn't look like he's saying anything I'm different. Very... What? The Lady Lithras here. Nope, okay. Let us. Because they were talking about how reactions could be different if the people are not in the room, but it appears to be not the case at this point. Let's see if this is a door I could use. Pull on the door, fail to get it open, no avail, it's probably locked. Well, that puppy sure gets around. Okay, yeah, that's locked. Whoa, 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 wait, that looks like something over there. I want to play with that. Uh, what a hunting spear leans discarded against the crates. It appears to be crudely made but serviceable, just on the snow. Well, nobody else wants it. Mine now. Maybe that's the tree where they hid that awesome sword they were talking about. Yay. Feel around the whole field, nothing but moss and a twig. You feel disappointed by this hole. You can't think of a practical application for a branch or two, so you decide to leave it alone. Alright, I guess that's not the tree. Or maybe I'd look for a specific place. Surprised I can't climb it, though. Kind of grind my climbing skills a little bit. And we're back here. Well, let's take a rest and get my stamina back. Let's see. No, I still can't take the shiny thing. Nothing I really need to store. Can I read some books? The Adventurer's Guidebook by Argrim Arterson. Oh dear. Animals, races, ages past. Let's learn about races. Many creatures make their home in Jornvedir. Uh, that provide travelers with interesting encounters. A source of food and a hazard to be wary of. Oh god. Uh, let's just pick one at random. Hogweed. Incorporeal Undead is powerful spellcaster and highly dangerous, while the Draugr is essentially mindless. The Hagboy has a malevolent and vengeful intelligence to seek out its victims. It rises from its grave shortly after nightfall, and it will keep doing so until its grave is found. Its bones burn to ash, and the ashes scatter to the winds. That seems like a lot of work. Alright, so let's take a uh, quick rest here. Well, it's evening time. Well... I was going to say we could sleep for the night, but hey, evening time is when these do their business. Alright, so let's save here. Okay. Sly night. Hello, buddy. Oh, everyone's heading home. Okay, so that's a good short cut. I guess. What 
if I can break in here. Probably not. Does it ever stop snowing in this town? My stealth skill is going up pretty quickly. I like that. <laughs> Why is she just standing there? It's cold out. You're going to get frostbite. Like me. Oi. A new character. Playing dice. Nice. That's Voland. And this is Snorri. A jovial man with the looks of weathered sailor and a mischievous grin on his face. You're the one the Jarl sent for. I think that stopping the Thimble Winter is a man's job. Wait, the Jarl sent for me? When did this happen? Tell me who you are. I am dismayed to learn that my reputation does not precede me. The name is Snorri. I'm a loyal clansman to Ilfing, captain of the guard, and connoisseur extraordinaire of fine drinks. And also of cheap drinks, when his money for the better ones runs out. And since you seem to be the adventuring type, perhaps I even have a task for you. A quest, if you will. And what is that? Ah, so nice of you to ask. You see, a gemstone that belonged to my father has gone missing. It is an heirloom of sorts, and I am greatly attached to it. I would highly appreciate it if you could recover it for me. I shall see what I can do. What can you tell me about the city? The shining star of Yandere. Just look around you and admire its build and its history. Although it is getting short of food right now, you could surely use one of Thor Giant Slayer's magical goats that can be eaten each evening and grow back during the night. What an awful thing is for the goat! In particular you would know to about. die a grisly death Lady over and over Lord. again for the end it of time. Seem you are gossiping. Harish, the thought Lithris it, dearest. I could never do your job for you. Tell me of Voland the Smith. I'm right here. Voland here is our blacksmith. Formidable man, whose skill at his craft is legendary. You are only flattering me because you owe me money. <laughs> only a trifle, my friend. Give me a few tries at the dice, and I shall win it back from you. What do you know about Hervor? Their Hervor runs the Guildhouse, and takes care of all the eager young would-be adventurers we get here. I do not appreciate you speaking of my wife that way. Ah, uh, what I meant to say is that Hervor is the devoted wife of my good friend Voland, who I am sure will forgive me for a thoughtless remark or two. Or three, knowing you. Ah, so there's more to say about that, I see. It stays white. Uh-huh. Surely you have met Jaime. Little Jaime is the child of Voland and Hervor. He wants to be a mighty warrior someday. Just like, well, me. I've given him a practice sword, and he works out with it daily. I think he even wanders around at night looking for things to guard. What do you think of Lithrasir? Our Lady Lithrasir keeps the clouds away with her smile, and draws the Aesir to our town with her cooking. You flatter me, old scoundrel, but you'll still pay for your drinks like everyone else. Ah, uh, see how she breaks my heart with her cruel words. I think your liver is all I am breaking tonight. What can you tell me about the city? The shining star of Yandere. Just look around you and admire its build and its history. Although it is getting short of food right now. Oh, wait, I already talked about that. It. Let us speak of the woodlands. If you wish to hear about Yandere, you've come to the right person. As captain of the guard, I hear all the soldiers' tales. Are the trolls dangerous? Frankly, yes, to all but the most experienced warriors. Their most powerful blow is easy to dodge, because you can see it coming from a mile away. But whenever they block something, they tend to be quick to make a counterattack that you should be ready for. Since their wounds have a tendency to close while they're fighting, your best bet is a heavy weapon that makes big gashes, like a battle axe. Alright, mental note, don't fuck with the trolls. Show me this game of yours. You think you can beat us? <laughs> Feel free to try it. We could use another player. Cool. Dice game. Alright, so it seems to be called R's and Birds. Uh. Oh, help. The game is called Odin's Dice. We take turns betting, and whoever has the best roll wins that round. It's a game of skill, you see. 
Doesn't seem to be much skill to it. On your turn, you may choose. First, you can simply bet one coin and your turn ends. Or second, you may re-roll one or more dice, for which you pay two coins. Finally, you may put in two coins to reveal your roll and end the round. Simple enough, is it not? No, I don't get it. The raven means Odin the Mimir's friend. Three ravens is the best roll. The hammer stands for Thor, the Earth Warder. So three hammers is the second best. These runes here represent Asgard. Three runes is the third best roll, followed by one each of Raven, Hammer, and Rune. One of each, we call it Midgard. Then, you could roll two Ravens, two Hammers, or two Rones, or merely one Raven, Hammer, or Rune. The blank sides of die are useless. We do not want those. Shall we try? All right, I'll try one. Uh, Alright, so it's it's kind of a crappy roll. Uh, I think. Fudge. I guess that's like fold. Or bet more. Call it. Ah, oh, I didn't want to do that. Midgar, look at the dice and weak models. Alright, well, that was, uh... I, uh... Well, you know what? Fuck it. Oh, what's going on? It looks as if we will share this pot. Well done. Okay. Can I make money? No, I made a coin. So, roll. Roll. You select which dice you want to roll again. You should think of that. Oh. Alright, that's not a bad little hand. Fuck it, let's go all in. It is time. The twin ravens have beaten. Yay! Alright. Not a not a tough little game. And I got a score for that. Alright, well, I made my money, so I'm out. All right, and there we will save, because I think I can actually make a pretty good amount of money there. But I don't want to waste too much time, so let's keep going. I'm getting points left and right. Agility. Oh, here we go. Here's nighttime. Now then. So, just see if anything changes at night, but I don't see much of anything. Let's see if this door is open during the night, maybe? No. This guy has something to say. How can I? No. You're fast talk. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's. Uh, oh wait, the blacksmith is going to be closed, and I can't sneak in or break in because the guard is there. Well, I don't want to go out adventuring like this late at night, so I guess we'll just head back to the uh, inn or whatever and sleep. There's guards everywhere. All right, so let's just sleep here. Ziz. I shall leave you in peace. Uh, where are you sleeping? All right. And sleep on the bearskin rug. I can think of worse things. Hey, kid, kid, sleep in here. Anything you need, hero lady? Yes, to be left alone. No, thank you. I'm just exhausted and need some sleep. You can save our city tomorrow. I'm sure you will. I'm still not quite sure what's wrong dreams. with the city. Meanwhile, in the fortress of cabins. I can see you, troll. What are you doing here? What? He has seen Varag hunting hiding place. Now we must kill him! <laughs> Is that so? My mighty sword can fell a tree in a single stroke. 
When I charge into battle, I kill three men with every cut of my blade, and two more with my heavy shield. Which I don't have right now. I have fought a dragon, cut off its claws, and made it eat its own tail. I am Sigurd, son of Sigmund, and I fear no troll. He talks big for a human. <laughs> this shall be fun. No this human. We punch through mountains with the swing of our fist. We have wrestled with the great Jormungand and tied him in a knot. We scare away kittens by smiling at them. What was that? A mighty boast. Oh, yes. You do not impress anyone by talking about puny kittens. We can chase off small children! Shut up! Now the human will laugh at us. But we can still kill him! Yes, for this is the human we seek. The one who has the left eye! The master shall be pleased with us again. Oh, so that's probably what that gemstone is in the blacksmith's night. house. Do not be impatient, puny human! We shall kill you now, and take the left eye from your bleeding corpse. Oh, yes! Well, get to it. No? Alright, fine. Destroyed about the vision-like dream about the troll. Oh, it was just a dream. Oh, wait, I thought that was meanwhile. Whatevs. Alright, back to sneaking. Uh, let's see. What does fast talk do, anyway? I should have looked that up at the beginning. What Whatevs. No, stop that. My lady, the Jarl Ilfing wishes to speak to you in his castle. Wait, was he talking to me or that lady? Because, uh, alright. Well, probably me. Kind of want to you may enter the audience room of Jarl Ilfing. All right, probably not the time to explore the castle. Step into the Jarl's austere but impressive uh, throne room. The twin banners of Forsic Tuna and Clan Ilfling adorn the walls, flanked by fluttering torches. The Jarl sits on his throne, awaiting your presence. His symbolic key of office hanging proudly beside him. In the name of Odin the Wise. We bid you welcome to Fornsic Tuna. Arise, traveler. Arise, chicken. Yes, my lord. I am Ilfing, third of that name, Jarl of Fornsic Tuna, and warden of Jan Vidir. At my side is Orvandel, sage of the Northern Lights and keeper of the rites. At your service, which I hope is serviceable. What is your name? Uh, let's see. Faith is true. Aspiring mystic. Cutting thieves and steal our money. Yeah, are we sure that we want to tell this guy that we're a thief? It's like, oh, we better keep our eye on you and post double guards. I wish to become a hero. That is precisely why we have called you. Of late, Fornsic Tuna is troubled. The winter has been far longer and colder than normal, and the city is running out of food and supplies. The woods of Jan Vidir around us are becoming dangerous. Wolves, trolls, and undead are on the prowl. And there have been sightings of giants. The people are starting to call this the Fimbulvinter, which is prophesied to last until the world ends. However, we fear the cold may be magical in origin. So indeed, winter magic is coming. To seek out where the source of the winter is coming from. It appears that a powerful spellcaster seems to be behind this winter's origin. But this spellcaster is casting spells to shield himself from my seeking, which is why my seeking spell cannot find this shielded spellcaster. Is he actually Therefore, this pedantic, or is that just bad writing on a pound of the mystic? Skill to investigate our problems and to aid us against the trolls. Here we all freeze of winter, and so we ask for your aid. When I heard of your arrival yesterday, I told my guards to send you here first thing in the morning. Will you accept this charge? Sure. Very good. I am told you are staying at the Adventurer's Guildhouse. 
You may reside there for as long as you need. And Gilmash is like, hey! I shall have some rations delivered there, although the city has little food to spare. However, I do not think a true adventurer would have trouble finding food. As a magical preparation, I have prepared a magic scroll with the magic of the Fatia's blessing, which shall serve as a map of your travels and map them magically. Thank you. Will this map also allow me to teleport to other places? No, it is not that powerful. You are a traveling heroine, so you should expect to do some traveling, so you can do heroic deeds while you travel. Okay. However, the map I think this guy is just humorously go, pedantic. So that you can go where the map tells you to. That will be all. We wish you safe travels, and hope to speak to you later when you have something important to report. Hey, everything I do is important. Yes, my lord. Well, bye. You have a map, which will automatically show all the places you've been to. MK is a shortcut. Cool, so this is like a magic map? Oh, it's a local map. Uh, oh, 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 I see, that's the cat. I get it, I get it. Well, time to explore. I have returned by coming back. I see that you have been awaiting my returning by waiting for it. Wow, well, a lot of detail went into this place. Look at this. I have found or traded for many esoteric objects, which I have found to study the esotericism of these objects. A catalog will become forthcoming in the future. Okay, I kind of like this guy. Strange looking head adorns the wall of the fireplace. Rather than being severed by some unfortunate creature, it appears to be wrought out of clay. Great. Uh, let's see, what looks useful? Nothing seems too out of the ordinary because everything is sort of sprited in, so nothing stands out from the background like they do in most games. But we can look at this telescope. Uh, 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 do not touch that no, we can't. telescope. Only by a trained astrologer. Please don't touch the equipment. It is the delicate. Be but I am trained in astrology. I can locate the polar star with my hands behind my back, and I have seen a falling star twice. I shall be the judge of that by judging it. Perhaps if you would find me the necessary herbs that I need, I would consider thinking about considering it. Alrighty. Well, let's learn what we need to do about this guy. Greetings More again, talking. Traveler. As it is not the first time that I greet you, I am sure we are both busy people. If you have pressing matters, I am not too busy to discuss those with you again. Now, uh, may I be of assistance on this Thor's day? Or can I otherwise help by assisting you? <laughs> what is Sponsictuna like? Fonsigtuna is the city that we live in, which is called Fonsigtuna. It contains numerous houses in which people live, as well as the castle where the Jarl of Fonsigtuna lives. The Jarl, who lives in the castle, is named Ilfing, and I am in the service of Jarl Ilfing of Fonsigtuna. Jarl Ilfing is the Jarl of this city, and is a descendant of the clan Ilfing who have traditionally ruled Fonsigtuna as its yard. Oh god! There are numerous people in this city about which I could spread gossip, but since doing so would be spreading gossip, I choose not to share information with you about the numerous people in this city, lest I become known as a gossip. I read that you are in need of herbs. Being a somewhat skilled alchemist, I employ my alchemy to brew potions to restore my magical power. For mana. These potions are known as mana potions, and are both potable and potent. However, I find I am lacking a particular ingredient, which I currently lack, and which is a necessary ingredient for my potable potions of magical mana. This ingredient is known as Artemisia vulgaris, or more commonly known as mugwort. If you know this ingredient, please locate me a suitable supply, so that I can use this to supply my alchemy with ingredients. What can I find in Yarnvadir? Since Fonsigtuna lies within a forest, the city is surrounded by a forest. You cannot usually see this forest, because there are trees that get in the way of your view of the forest. The forest is known as Yarnvadir, or the Iron Wood. This name is a contradiction, since wood is not made of iron, which it contradicts. But perhaps whoever named this forest simply likes to play golf in the forest. If 
You would know details of the forest called Yarnvidir, which is the forest in which Fonsiktuna is located. Then please ask me details about this forest. What do you know about trolls? Most well known of the trolls is Thrivoldi, who is a two-headed troll who roams the forest with his two heads. It is said that one head is named Thri, and the other of his two heads is named Voldi. Although this would lead to a quarrel between the two heads of a troll regarding which head should claim which part of the name Thrivoldi. It is said that Thrivoldi is in the service of Egtha, a frost giant who is the master of the two-headed troll. Please tell me about yourself. I am Orvindel, Sage of the Northern Lights and Keeper of the Rites, and occasionally Keeper of the... Aside from keeping rites, I use my sage advice to advise Jarl Ilfing about ritual matters, and when it matters to be sagacious, I aim to do the right thing. Uh... I am curious what magic you have for sale. Since you ask me what I sell, I could sell you a magic potion or two, which are potions that I have created through magic. If you have the talent, I can also sell you a spell of shadow and a spell of flame. But these require the talent of magic to use. Which I lack. Uh, let's see. Healing potions, sound of potions, mana potions. Something to keep me warm. Interesting. I need something to keep me warm. Certainly. I have this magical device that will magically keep you warm if you place the device magically around your neck. It is made from real wool. Very magical. You've invented a magic you scarf. Mean a scarf. Yes. Well, actually, it is a scarf, and it will keep you warm as a scarf, which is almost like magic, except that instead of using magic, you can use a scarf. Uh, a twenty-dollar scarf, man. Let's see if I can talk him down. How about fifteen? That is a laughable offer, and I will laugh at it. <laughs> how laughable it is! <laughs> offer me a better deal so that we may laugh together at a more suitable offer. Alright. How about 16? That is a lot. 17, that's all I got. That is a lot. Fuck. Alright, need more money so I can come back and get that, that scarf. I return to my duties. Because I am dutiful, and I have a duty to re- Alright, and I really need that before I head out there, because I literally start catching frostbite within 10 seconds. All right, let's get back to uh, sly booting around. All right, sly boots, let's go. Well, uh, I doubt those guys are out there playing dice right now, so I can't. Oh, mysterious glow coming west, drawn. Ooh, yeah, let's go check that out. This must be the spot that Irana missed. Ah, mysterious glow. Well, now we're saving. Slide glow. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Da -da -da -da. Oh, this must be the alchemist. Enter. Earth. Be welcome. We were expecting you. Ah. Mortal woman. Of mortal born. What do you call yourself? Uh, let's see. In Scald of a Hundred Songs. Uh, I have a feeling I should remain humble here. Legendary Trickster. Well, uh, now let's let them know what's going on. I am a legendary trickster and Scald of a Hundred Songs. Boastful words. Damn it. Shall you live up to them? Fade will know. Oh, these are the fades? Or people's dwellings. We three descend of Mukdusir's maidens. Laws we made there, and life allotted to the sons of man, and set their fates. While Bralan's towns were trembling all, there the golden threads of fate we wove, and in the moon's hall, fast we made them. We are the Nords. I am Earth, who sees the past. I am Verthandi, who watches the present. 
I am Skuld, who guards the future. Speak now, mortal. Talk, you who seeks heroism. Ask and glimpse your fate. Okay. I guess I should probably pick my uh, words carefully here. I'm called here. What endangers this realm? What lies? Where lies my fate? What endangers this realm? Ages ago, the gods of Asgard, led by Odin Thunderer, fought the Frost Giants and drove them off to Jotunheim. Many of the Giants made peace with the Aesir gods and accepted their defeat. Others sharpen their axes and seek revenge. One of their number traveled to Asgard in peace and became friend of Thor the Terrible and blood brother to Odin One-Eye. His name was Loki the Crafty. But Loki Laufersson was a trickster and played his pranks recklessly. He cut off the golden hair of Thor's wife Sif and had the goddess Idun kidnapped by the giant Thiassi. When Loki's machinations caused the death of Odin's son, Baldur, the wise Odin was enraged. He took Loki, forger of evil, to the darkest depths of Svartalfheim and bound him there for the ages. And there he lies still, bound by the entrails of his son, endlessly yeah. tortured by a venomous snake. The wrath of Odin the Hooded is a terrible thing. No joke. But other giants still roam the worlds who have sworn revenge on the gods. One of them lives in the woods of Yarnvdir. His name is Ekther the Jotun. He has caused the great thimble winter that ravages the land. He seeks to free Loki the Bound and requires the, the eyes of Thiassi to do so. Should Ekther succeed, then Loki Wolf's father shall lead the giants into direct war with the gods, which can only have one outcome. Party! Ragnarok. Twilight of the Gods. The end We've got our title, ladies world. and gentlemen. I think. Oh, I can ask whatever I want. Why have I been called here? You have the makings of a heroine. And with time, you may prove yourself worthy of that title. Already you have seen a vision of a man imperiled. More shall follow, so that you can come to their aid. It was such a vision that led you here, where fate needs you. The sorcerer Aruvando was but a focus. Where lies my fate? As a rogue, you walk the path of Loki the Treacherous. Through wits, guile, and trickery, you can always prevail. Your journeys will take you to the village of Munavigir, and from there, to other worlds. Until you return to Yarnvidir to stab Egther in the back. Choose words and stealth over battle, and your trickery shall be part of the legends. Fail, and your soul shall be cast into the endless mists of Niflheim. Who will win the 2014 Olympics? Do not mock us, little mortal. The fate of the Nine Worlds hangs in the balance. However, the Dutch will win three gold medals. I thank you, O Norns. Safe travels, Scald of many songs. Seek out the Valkyrie Brynhild for advice. She lies bound in Yarnvidir. Beard. We shall meet again. A blessing, a blessing for the Lord, God be praised. You find yourself outside in the cold, looking behind you, you see the house has been dis disused for years, its front door bricked up. What are the count of the Norns is real at all? All right, well, our first uh, goal is to make some money. Uh, and chances are I don't have anyone to play dice with, though it would be nice. Damn. Well, I gotta wait for nighttime to make money that way, so hopefully I can go out and kill some uh, goblins or something. Or maybe today's just not as cold. Let's warm ourselves up in here real quick. 
just in case. All right, save here. Okay, and let's go out into the world. Let's finally go out out outside of town. Oh no, wait, do I have that spear thing? I do, and boy, it's encumbering me for shit. Hunting weapon, not too effective for direct combat. Well, we'll see what I can do with it. How oh, pretty. Alright, I'm gonna take myself out of stealth here for a while. Just so we can actually get into some encounters here. Alright, let's see what this place is all about. I'm excited. Oh, sparkly. The roots of this plant are edible and nutritious. Not all that tasty. Oh, that's right. I'm an herbalist. Let's see if this is the mugwort we're looking for. Um, oh, okay. I need some roots. Found food using herbalism skill. Uh, train using a lot. Train magic. and cost a lot of spells. Alright. Cool. Can I pick anything I want? Uh, nope. But I can make snowballs. Poof. Poof. Hey, birdie. Ah. Yeah, more practice not to make a complete about face turn. Turn to karate chop the tree in half. If you fail. Um. Okay, cool. Learn a few things. Let's see. Let's just head south and see what we can find this way. Ferret. I think. Small furry creature. Just, alright. Of no consequence. Alright. Let's go back this way. The music in the background reminds me a lot of The Sims for some reason. Oh crap, I'm dying. Rabbit tracks. Great. Um, alright, I better... I better get back to town ASAP. I can't... I can't do anything, because Frostbite kills me immediately. Oh, no. Alright, I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm alright. So, literally, I can do nothing until I have a scarf. And day passes quickly here in your giver. Oh god. Why didn't I bring a scarf? Why can't someone just give me a scarf? There are so many good Samaritans in town. Uh, whoops. Alright, let's just rest for a second. Well, in that case, I guess we better run everywhere. It's you know, time is of the essence. Alright, let's head this way. Okay, set up here. Oh, this is where the avalanche was. Let's see if I can find my stuff. Uh, you believe you lost your backpack here, but there's no sign of it. Likely some other creature took it with him. Damn. Well, more snowballs for me. No. I'm beginning to think there's not a lot to do out here. Anybody? Ah! A target. Eh. Oh, nice it does that for you. Oh crap, my stamina is almost gone. Oh crap, that means as soon as I get frostbitten I am screwed. 
All right, let's get back to town. Well, maybe my fortitude's going up because frostbite's not showing up. And I am lost. Well, no, no, I'm not. I know where I am. Okay, good. There's a guy out there, like, playing with toys, kid. It's like five degrees outside. I don't know. Maybe there is, like, a temperature. Nope, there it is. Alright, fine. Let's see what happens when you die. And here we'll wait. Hey kid, you want to stick around and watch my grisly death? Sure you do. Come on. Come on, watch me die. Nope, and he's gone. Alright, let's see what happens with Frostbite. I guess if you run out of stamina, I guess it just starts sapping your life away slowly. <laughs> okay, so it just works on your exhaustion. Alright, so let's see if it actually starts hurting my health. Yep, there, there it goes, okay. And I'm not waiting around for it to always, you know, drain my health all the way. It's going to take forever. Or is it? Yeah, it's going to take forever. Alright, so I guess we'll just gamble all day. Alright, so let's rest until evening-ish, maybe. Unless the pub is open now, which would be really nice. But there's no one playing dice. So... Actually, no, I'm not going to wait out here. What am I doing? Get back in there. Uh, let's wait until night time and we'll just gamble all our money away. Damn it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. And get those feathers out of your hair. Okay. What? No dice game. Or maybe I can just play You're him. You're the one the Jarl sent for. Blah blah blah. Show me. You think you can? We could. All right, here we go. I should have saved first, and I am. Oh, hey, there he is. <laughs> we sure to use another player. I heard my name. So you All right. All right, let's roll. Ooh, I got that thing. The 
luck is holding. Your dice show Midgard, which means you win. Yay! Give me your money, please. Woohoo! 28! Not bad. Um, let's, let's keep it going. Really good winner or good losers rather. All right, let's leave, save, and keep it going. Sure. Yeah. What? So you're the one. Sure. Yeah, we lost all our coin to you and then some. You must be blessed by the Aesir to be so lucky. Oh, they won't play with me anymore. Greetings again, traveler. As it is not the first time that I greet you, I am sure we are both busy people. If you have pressing matters. I am not too busy to discuss those with you. How may I be of assistance on them? Uh... Oh, oh, I don't have to go over there I to buy the scarf now. You, you should... I'm, you, oh, yeah, I do. Great. I'm, okay. Well, that being done, I guess we can just explore for the night time. Let's, uh... Shift to sneaky mode for what the... Well, whatever. See if anything's changed throughout town. Does not appear so. All right, well, let's go adventuring. Let's see, where should we go now? Let's just see what's due. What wait? What direction is this? West or east, rather? Less likely to draw attention. Actually, I, I actually want to draw attention, so let's get out of sneak mode. Oh, God, I'm getting frostbit already? Ah! I don't like this. And now the doors are shut. Let's see if I can climb the gate. Well, I guess I know where I'll be for a while. Well, shit. Hello? Oh yeah, I'm almost dead. Great. Um... Shit. Melt water. I can't get rid of it. Alright. Um... Well, uh, wonderful. I have food. Will that help me with some health? That oh, gives me some stamina back, at least. And my meat provisions are gone. Yeah, I'm screwed. I'm utterly screwed. Oh, God, there must be some place outside we can sleep. So I'm sure if I sleep out here in the cold, I will die. And speaking of near death, let's go into sneaky mode. Was this way? Yep, and we're dead. I froze. Uh, all right, so it saved right before we left town. So let's not leave town. And I have all that money. I do. There doesn't really appear to be anything we can do until we earn 20 bucks. Which we have, but now I gotta wait. 
Um, I guess maybe I can grind some skills here. Let's see if we can grab some snowballs or something. And practice throwing skills. That's all I can really think to do. Uh, who are you? Oh, that's the Jarl. He's just hanging out. It is good to see you safe again in Form Secuna. Yep. It is... Alright. Not much to do. Great, and the death count's going already. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hang... Fuck! Nope, not doing that. Well, let's see if I can practice climbing the wall. Find the right spot. It's a lot of activity here. Fuck it. Going to sleep. Alright, let's see. Sleepy times. Too hungry to... Ugh. Nom, 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 nom. Alright, now we can sleep. I shall... I'm gonna get one of those cool Irana dreams by sleeping. Oh, wrong game. All right, now let's go up. Oh, goody, it's snowing again. Perfect. Uh, it's totally open. Literally just treading water here. Yeah, okay, I can't practice climbing there. How about here? Yeah, all right, I can practice here. Now I'm almost dead. Okay, so let's, let's go back and rest. Man, not take grinding lightly here. Alright, so resting for a few seconds should put me back at full health and hopefully make it so I can investigate the castle. Alright, half health. I can take that. Yeah, stop snowing! Ray? Ah, good. Greetings again, traveler. Blah, blah, blah. I am. Since you. I need. Certain. You mean what? I... That is a lot. That is a laughable offer. Oh, come on, you were to take 18 last time, you fuck. I find your offer acceptable. Therefore. There, good. Whatever. Um, let's see. Magic staff, I don't need. Stamina potion would be handy, but I'm still kind of broke. How about an empty flask? Can you give me an empty flask? All right, they're pretty cheap. Let's grab two of these. If I offer you a lower price, then I expect you to bid a higher price. All right, fine. I find your offer. I wish it is time that I return. All right, good. So now we have a scarf, finally. Uh, let's see. Am I wearing these boots? Okay, 
and not about the scarf. Do I have to equip it? I'm already wearing it. All right. So with any luck, that'll help me from my frostbite problems. Let's see if I can explore the rest of the castle. Dungeon. Heavy wooden desk. Blah, blah, blah. How can I... What can I find in Yarnvidir? If it is tall tales you want, I suggest you visit the Sleipnir Inn around sunset. What is Jarl Ilfing like? He is a fair ruler. He has kept our fine city safe for several decades. Although his hair be grey, he can still best most of us in battle. Yo! Ooh, there's stuff in here. A tinder box! Uh, of course, I can't do anything while this guard is here. Just out of curiosity. Let's see. Save. Sly getting into trouble. Okay. Let's see what happens if I go into sneak mode here and just literally just take this tinderbox while he's looking right at me. Oh, when nobody's looking, you can swipe the tinderbox. Not much, but every little bit helps. Uh, uh good. <laughs> All right, tinderbox. Ahoy. Uh, all right. Let's see if this guy has anything more to say. Hear you from so you're the one. What? Can the shining. Oh, is. Oh wait, now we can talk about the other people. What do you know about Hervor? Fair Hervor runs the guild house and takes care of all the eager young would-be adventurers we get here. She is not from Ponsecuna. Volan the blacksmith brought her here when they married. Don't be fooled by that frail figure of hers. I've seen her break a man's arm before. Hi. Do you know the wizard Orvindel? He is a wizard in the service of Jarl Ilfing. Or possibly, he is the true power in these lands, who tolerates Hilfing for his own amusement. It is hard to tell with wizards. But, his enchantments have proven useful in defending our town. It's made the locks in the castle dungeon truly impervious to thieves. Such people are good to have around. Okay, good to know. What do you think about the Jarl? I am a sworn vassal of Jarl Ilfing, protector of Fonsic Tuna. He lives in the keep at the north side of town. Where we are, uh, right now. Let us speak. If you wish to hear about. Do you practice at the archery targets? Indeed, I do. You can usually find me there around noon, in case you want to be soundly defeated in a little contest. Oh dear. Can I buy a bow? Us... That'd be Should... awesome. Why are you walking like that? Alright, that appears to be really all there is to do here. So there's the wizard, and then there's the dungeon downstairs where the captain and the guard hangs out. Alright, well now that I have this scarf, I feel a little bit better about venturing outdoors. So let us do so. Alright. Um, let's just try and head as far east as it, as possible. Let's just go that way. Is there no skip -a -matic when you're live? Why do I not have that power over space and time? Oh! Oh, look! Look, you see how my, my icon reflects on the ice? That is so cool! I love that! This reminds me of a scene from Leisure Suit Larry, like at the very end of 2. 
Lake Gondvik lies before you, stretching as far as the eye can see. Um, I don't see much to do here. So let's continue on. Ah, a thing! Stupid wooden deer in a watchtower. Can I climb up this? Am I good enough for that yet? No. Okay, great. And I'm already exhausted. And I'm probably out of food at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out of food. So let's go find some plants. And you can't go that way. Great. Oh, jagged hole. Um, well, I'll remember that it's there. I'm not messing around with it. Unless I get like a fishing... Oh, ooh, ooh, there's a log there. Empty logs are always good news. Well, except for that first one. Uh, let's see. Eagerly peeking at something looking for hidden treasure. Unfortunately, there is none. Stump is a plain view of the lake. How many treasure would have been found a long time ago? This game is much too realist. <laughs> and I have not caught any frostbite yet. This is good. Alright, let's see. We can keep going west from here. Or east. Why do I keep going west and east? Yeah, it's that snowman again. He's following me. Oh, I have a feeling to go south. I don't know. I just have one of those gut instincts. Oh, yeah, and it led me right into a wolf. Alright, let's try my battles. Run away! Ah, uh, nope! Bye! I don't have any health or stamina. I don't even know how I'm running away. Uh, it's it's a squirrel. Why why am I being approached by a squirrel? <laughs> well, I found you. No human. That's your doom. Is that hand? What's going on? Oh, such a cute little squirrel. Little? Oh. I'm evil and misshapen and vile. My sharp, nasty teeth will do. Yes. No, you're not. You're cute. What is your name? What? You do not recognize me. I'm Ratatask. Ratatask the mighty. Ratatask whose teeth cut the branches of old Jusil itself. Ratatask, the original Doom Squirrel! <laughs> Love it. Falls upon my visage and trouble! Doom Squirrel? The very same! Humans have such poor senses, but I knew you would recognize me eventually! So, yes! Prepare to meet your doom at the hands of Ratatask. Claws of Ratatask, that is. Claws of doom. Claws that shall pierce your skin and spill your blood in the forest. <laughs> yes. Why do you want to doom me? Well, oh, the stupid human asks me why. I am the bringer of Ragnarok. With these very teeth, I gnaw through the branches and roots of Odysseus until the world tree shall fall. Oh, yes. Up there is but an upstart. Fenrir, an amateur. It has been prophesied that I, Ratatask the Doom Squirrel, shall herald the twilight of the gods. So, how exactly is my doom at hand? I shall poke at your eyes with my sharp, sharp tail. I shall hide all the acorns you are stealing for winter. I shall bite your bones and not on your marrow. I'm more worried about the acorn part. You cannot even reach my eyes. 
Oh, do not act so tough. Whenever you walk underneath a tree, you know that Ratatosk may be lurking on the branches above. Ready to pounce on you. Ratatosk, the Doom Scroll! Leave me alone. Be well, puny human, for I shall be back for you. Your doom shall find you. <laughs> well, okay, great. I have, I have I've been marked for death by a squirrel. And I am almost dead. Alright, let's see. Help! Alright, I just need, I need food. No, no, don't run, don't run, don't run. You're gonna die. Stealth. Alright. Please, don't die. Please find some food. Anything. A place where I can rest. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. No, there's the frostbite. Please. Nope, and there she goes. Dead, dead, dead. Alright, nothing that way. Let's see what's over here. No, don't stop running. Oh, I do have food. I'm an idiot. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, not much, but it should be enough to help me survive until we find more. My own fault for trying to take on that huge dog. I think I could have taken him, but I just did not have any health or stamina left. Hey! A thing! Hello? Hello? No? If I keep talking to it, I just like get a million points in Animal Ken. Oh, well, maybe not. Alright. Oh, I should try talking to all the animals. Now that I think of it. Ah, crap. Ah, I'm exhausted again. But at least now I have a little bit more health. Ooh, what's this? Wait, herbs? Mugwort plant! Yay! Snowballs. Hooray. Alright, I can't do anything with the rocks. I can't talk to the rocks, can I? Stony silence. I wonder if I can rest here, or will that kill me? Help. Two. Uh, Alright. Rest. Well, I have frostbite now, but at least I have a little bit more health and stamina. Magical cookie in your ears. Nice touch. Cool. So, whenever I see an animal, I'll just try talking to it repeatedly and I get points. Great, I'm going to die. Ferret, help me. Oh, no. Can I make it back to town? Probably not. Oh, thank God. Look at this. A, a fire, and I still have frostbite. A strong looking woman appears to be asleep in the middle of the circle of flame. Obviously, some sort of enchantment happening here. Oh, good. Frostbite went away. So maybe I can rest here. Yay! I'm still alive. And doing quite well. Excellent. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do with this fire at this point. I'll throw my mel melted snowballs on it. Nah, no. No. Alright, fine. Uh, since a mystical aura coming from the crystals, they form a circle to protect something inside or protect something from inside. 
Well, good to know. At least I know there's some fire nearby. I don't see anything else up here of interest, but... Uh. Alright, keep an eye on that place. I should be mapping, but I'm not. Because lazy, and I need a lot more coffee, and it's still pretty early. Um, let's see. Well, I got the mugwort. Let's see if we can find our way back to town, and I can give it to, uh, uh, what's-his-face, wizard fella. Ooh, what's this? Nope, just picks up the snow. Everything looks like it can be picked, but you cannot. All you do is pick up snowballs from the ground. Alright, so here's the hole in the ice, which I can't really do anything with. Oh, uh, oh, oh, hey, wait a minute. I know these guys. I forgot I do have a map. Can I warp around? What is this? Pirates lie. Cannon shot would help wake them up at this point. Uh, well, as long as they're asleep. Sneak mode. What can I steal from them? Nothing useful. Ruined by the cold. Fishing net. Yeah. Okay, I can't take their shields or anything. Well. Now they have a fishing net, let's go put that in the hole in the ice and see what I can do with it. And then we'll head back to the fireplace. I really like this reflection, I think that's such a cool idea. Uh, actually, I lack the affinity for animals, simply not lucky enough to have Asya smile upon you. Let's try it one more time. And when I say one more time, I mean two more times. Better chance tomorrow. Alright. Well, I got a couple animal points out of that at least. Alright. Let's see. I, I should be okay to make it back to town. I got full health. Those pirates are probably not too happy that they're missing their fishing net. Oh, my frostbite is going down fast. Come on. Oh, God, I might not make it. Please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. No, no. Uh, uh. No, no, don't sneak away from the wolf. That's not going to work at all. Bye. Uh, no. No. Oh, I appear to be safe now. He won't follow me here. Ha <laughs> ha. But at least now I know where I am. I'm close to town. Thank God. As I die right outside the gates. Urgh. Oh, Jesus. Made it. Oh, there's my food. Alright. Oh, God, I am so close to death. Oh, thank God. All right. We're back in business. All right. Let's save. All right. And then we can go give these herbs to Farfik Nugan, the mighty wizard. What? What? What?
I can steal from people. That's cool. Mental note. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, look. Oh, they're the tans of, cans of spim from, uh, from three. Which, by the way, we will be playing a little bit later on today. So, you know. Oh, what? Oh, fuck. Did I not take it? Are you shitting me? Are you kidding me? Oh, god damn it. Ugh. I guess I just looked at it. Like, I could have sworn I used my hand on it. Well, shit. Well, at least I know kind of the way to get there. Well, let's go steal some more money from the townsfolk with their games. After I rob her. Dun 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 dun. Uh. What is it? No, she doesn't seem to mind. I. Uh oh. Oh yeah, that's the captain of the guard. I probably shouldn't do that. In the name of Yal Il Oh dear. Okay. Uh well, now we know what not to do. Alright, let's play some more. So you're Show me. Yeah, we lost. Damn it. I want to play dice. Well, fuck. Can I buy anything else from her? What can I have traveled through? The Literacy has. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or maybe I somebody can tell me about that weird. Uh, Let us. If check out in the woods. I have been to the Grand Lake. But for you, but I'm sure you've seen the Yarl's fancy flying ship. We we'll use it for raids sometimes, at least when it is less frozen into the ice. We usually have to take Orvindel along to control it. I think he keeps some kind of wind magic embedded in the ship's hull. Okay. Let us speak. You should stay here with us. Pretending to be a hero is just going to get you killed. Yeah, it's going to get the rest of you killed if I don't. Um... Right, I'm kind of liking this thievery thing. Let's see how much we let's see much else we can get away with here. No. Still there. Ah, damn it! <laughs> Push my luck. In the name of. Do this once more. All right, so I guess you get like three tries. Let's see who else I can pickpocket around here. Not gonna pickpocket the guards. Now oh, it's closed. Uh, well, not much else I can do. Oh. No, I've already tried to pick her pocket like twice. Not gonna do that. Time to wander around aimlessly. Uh, yeah, alright. Sleep till morning. I really hope there's not any kind of like time limit here. What is it? What can. There are ray of. I there saw a woman in a circle of flame. Brynhild is a true Valkyrie who took a mortal lover against the wish of Odin the Raven God. The Aesir enchanted her lover to forget her and imprisoned her in the flames. I have been to the Grand Lake. It is beautiful. They say a large eagle that her full near lives at its edge and flaps its wings to make the winds blow. Will you please take those feathers out of your hair? Are you no is 
Oh. Are there any tasks that need doing? Check the notice board in the guild house. Lazy. Who put all these heads on the wall? Adventurers like yourself, no doubt. I would like to buy the winter keeps up. I... Uh, all they have are healing potions and they're outrageously expensive. Where did the guildmaster go? He had to leave town. I know not why. I believe he traveled east. I... All right, sleepy times. I should... Yeah, get out of here. The song in the inn reminds me of the pinwheel theme song. Pinwheel, pinwheel, da da da. You know what? I don't think you guys know what that means. Hang on. Education time. Let's see. Uh, pinwheel. Let's see. Maybe this is it. <laughs> All right, that was your education for the day. Back to work. <laughs> See, now you can totally hear it, right? Are you hearing this? Oops. All right, whatever, okay. Out we go. All right, so let me check the map here. So we've been here at the boat. There's a hole in the ice. There's the fire. Um, looks like the, all this area down here has not been explored. There's the archery target. I really want to know what this is. Oh, that must have been the, um, the guy we saw in our dream. So let's head south and go find that. No, wait. First, over here. Alright, so let's go down, and then we'll go east till we can't go east anymore. Oh, wait, she's picking herbs over there. Well, yeah, whatever. Alright, now I'm gonna walk normally because I want- Hey, stop following me! I wanna- f I actually wanna get into a battle. I wanna try it out. Alright, south, south, south. East. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, you're not a good guy at all! Alright, fine, let's battle. You wanna battle? Ow! Run away! Oh, I was almost there, too. Almost had him. Still working out this whole dodging thing. Alright. Well, yeah, we're almost dead. Stamina's not doing too bad, though, but let's go back into stealth mode, because we're almost deed. Where are we? Um, oh, we're almost there. Okay, good. Got some willpower points out of that somehow. Alright. Um, is it through here? Or I think it was up one. Yeah, it's blocked. Okay. So, oh, look for the snowman. It will lead you to the mugwort. Excellent. Oh, fuck's sake. Alright, I need some sort of digging tool. I got a spear. No. God damn it. All right, um, flask, all I have are my daggers, it's probably just going to tell me not to stab the plant again, 
I need to dig it out, not cut it. I don't have any digging implements. Wondrous. Uh, can't do anything with the rocks. Alright, well, we'll save that for later. Bye. This is a special screen. You can't hit me. I know how adventure games work. Alright. Um, let's see. Save. Let's see if we can rest here without getting too hurt. Uh, yeah. Seems alright. Not didn't get to do much of my health, but I guess I got my stamina back. Alright, um, where else do we need to go? There's the fire. There's still some, you know, I'm right over here. Let's go see what's up here. I haven't been there yet. Yay, animal Ken. No idea what Ken means. Well, that was nothing. Nope. Ah. Well, I've got some health. Let's at least give it a try. Nope. <laughs> He's gonna be mean to me! Ah! Wait, I think the fire is up here. Let's head to the fire. Yes. Okay. Um, that went well. Rest. All right. Back in business. Okay. Um, ba 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 ba. Let's go back to sneak mode. All right. So where do I need to be? So nothing there, nothing there. So let's go south to not go south anymore, and then a little bit west, and then south again. God damn it. All right, let's see. Let's do this wisely. I did pretty well. I did pretty well. Um, I think maybe if I turn the speed down a little bit. Let's see. Let's uh, let's go back to sneak mode. God, I gotta reinstall Windows. Um, let's turn the speed down to like here-ish, I guess. That should be a pretty good happy medium. Got no, not ready for it. Not, no, 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 not now, not now. No, make it. Yes. Okay. I swear I am not a coward. Okay. Sneaky. Sneaky. Midday. Okay, this way once and then south again. Damn. Uh, Alright, let's give it a try. I like I like move into position for honorable combat. Ah! Nope. Alright, what's cool is that you can actually, uh, oh, get your dagger back. Awesome. And let's see, rob, rob, rob. A few apples. And that's it. I got, I got apples for killing my very first brigand. Really? Just some apples? Oh well, nom nom nom. Okay, uh, well, I'm saving after that, that's for sure. So what's cool about it is I found that when you dodge, it's not just like that quick dodge and runs back right, like right away, but
but you can stay dodged off to the side, and they're not smart enough to, like, oh, maybe I should stab over in that direction. But I like that. Because I'm really bad at, uh... Hello, bunny bun. Fluffy, fluffy bun bun. Nope, no points for that. Alright. Nope, not pushing my luck twice. Ah, fuck. I can't switch back to running fast enough. Bye! Alright. Where the heck am I? Um, nowhere near where I need to be, but it looks like there's something, like, here-ish. Let's go check that out. Hey, this is Moonrunner. Oh, this is where I saw the uh, the vision, and I believe I have a delivery to make here. Hooray! You know, a whole new town to get lost in. All right, well, let's see what's going on in this town. Well, the Finbo winter is harsh to us. Trolls are rampant, and food is running low. So I'm surprised we still find travelers who make it here. Welcome to Manavagir, stranger. What are you doing in my house? What is your name? My name is Lif. I am a practiced herbalist and the village healer of Manavagir. I am also a proven warrior should Sigurd need me, although I prefer not to use that skill. How is the village doing? Manavagir is trouble these days. Food supplies are dwindling, and there are more trolls and vargs in the forest than there should be. Yet, still we stand. What can you tell me about the big city? Our rival city. Most of the people in Monavagir do not like it, but I believe there are some good people there. Tell me of Voland the Smith. Yes, he is that blacksmith fellow. A decent enough man, if you ask me. What do you know about Hervor? She is the second most beautiful woman in Fort Zeptuna. She is very elegant, reminding me of a bird at times. But she does not talk much. Surely you have met Jaime. When I last saw him, he was still very small. But I have heard he takes after his father. He talks about rescuing princesses and slaying dragons. So I'm sure he will turn out a fine warrior. What do you think of Lithrasir? Oh, Lithrasir. We have met only briefly, but I am smitten. If only she would send me some news of her. Let us speak about Snorri. I hear he is a competent enough warrior, but I do not trust the man at his word. I would advise against gambling with him, as he would likely cheat. Do you know the wizard Orvandel? Orvandel is my respected colleague in the arts mystical. He used to be my teacher years ago. His lessons often run late, but he does know his skills. Do not underestimate him. He does more to keep Fornsiktuna safe than you may realize. What do you think about the Jarl? We have an ongoing dispute with Ilfing. He believes that Munavagir is part of his protectorate, and we think not. Just because Fornsiktun is older than our town does not mean that they own the entire forest. What can I find in Yarnvidir? Yarnvidir is all around us, and a good thing too, because I could hardly brew my potions without a ready supply of herbs and roots. To be honest, I do not like to venture far from Munavagir, because these days trolls are everywhere. I am not like Sigurd and do not think I could take down one of those monsters. I would like to buy some of your wares. There is value in potions and alchemy. Odin of the Shaggy Club knows this, and was willing to put out one of his own eyes for a drink from the Mendespunia, the Well of Wisdom. I am happy to tell you that my prices are not so steep, although I do not sell the Wisdom Water. There likely is none of it left within this world. Perhaps you're interested in purchasing some of my potions? Let's see. Spells, do you need ingredients? I'll ask about that. Potion recipe, empty flask. Do you need ingredients? I am always in need of ingredients, particularly anything that is not found near the city gates of Munavagir. In particular, I have run out of willow bark. There is a special bark that glows in the dark, and thus can be only harvested at night. I've only found Please, one willow tree, so maybe that's the one. We'll go back there at night time. 
Can you teach me a potion recipe? This recipe was designed by a mysterious enchanter who calls himself the Crimson Bovine. I would be willing to share it with you for a price. Well, what is it? Uh, you're gonna teach <sighs> Fuck. Oh, it's a stamina potion. Neat. Can you give me- These generic all-purpose flasks are all you need to carry liquids around. Alright, I already don't need those right now. Do you know the herb mugwort? Yes, I am familiar with mugwort. It is a common ingredient in potions. I do not have enough to sell you, but you should be able to find some in an open rocky area. I believe northeast of Munavagir there is a good spot. I wish you good health. Stay in Munavagir as long as you like. Uh, let's see. Aronis pointedly ignores your attempt at conversation. Yeah, look at all this animal kin, yeah. Alright, well, got a shitload of points for that one. This is where I store my ingredients. From Eye of Newt to Flubberworm Mucus, and from Nightshade Juice to Green Fur. Green Fur! Tools of the trade, you know. You would be amazed by how- Uh... Tools of the- well, not much else to do here. I, I, so I need something to go digging with, so I need a tool for that. Nothing's easy. Hello. A shovel! Hey, that's what we need. I'm still in sneak mode. Dun, 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 dun. But of course, any oh. adventurer needs a shovel. After all, you never know when you'll come across a buried treasure. Well, I can't afford it. Let's see if I can talk her down. That is pretty good. I agree to your offer. Yay! Well, I got the shovel I needed. Now let's find out who this good lady is. Good day to you. I'm surprised to see somebody new in Minarvagir. Does the Thimble Winter not make traveling too dangerous? Thankfully, we have more supplies and a lesser population than our cousins in Fornsigtuna. The trade routes are cut off, and we would risk starvation if we were not prepared. What is your name? My name is Sigrun, daughter of Hogni, and one of the leading traders of Munarvagir. Tell me about Munarvagir. Tis our fair village in the heart of Yarnvadir. The weather may be foul, yet the people are friendly. What does Lif do? My friend Lif is our resident healer. He keeps Manarvagir hailed from sickness and cures the wounds of those ill-fated to run into a forest troll. You should pay him a visit if you wish to purchase an elixir of healing. His store is next to mine, near the village gate. Have you been to Fornsiktuna? Fuck that place! Yes, although not recently. In spring I shall go visit there again to trade for goods. Says there's a lot of animosity the between the two there. villages, but everyone cold. seems to be all like, yeah, all right. always a sight to see. Let us speak of the woodlands. I do not go out there to explore, if that is what you mean. There are dangerous, but I am not the one to ask. I would like to just look around. I it Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Rations they have. And gimmicks. There are enough apples to fill a frost giant's hands. Uh, nice reference. These barrels are empty. I am awaiting new stock, yet none has been forthcoming during the cold winter days. No, I, I keep thinking I would love to make a game like this, but God knows I would be able to find the time for it if we take everything. Uh, let's see. Oh, good. Stocks. Good, good, good sign. Hello. It's a big ass the symbol bird. of Odin, keeper of wisdom. Thought and memory are his ravens, you know. Well, they're actually called something else, but it means memory, I think. That's what happens when an old man is played by an obvious 25 year old. Do remain quiet while examining the books. You are not supposed to speak in a library, you know. 
Uh, uh, uh Ooh, a skull. What? You are wondering why there is a skull here, are you? Well, let me tell you that after all these years, I am still wondering about that. Yes, I am listening. When you've reached my age, you have less to worry about the world freezing and all that. Please tell me about yourself. Well, I might be the storekeeper. I might also be the mayor of this town. But I am actually not. I merely take care of Munavagir's library. And Munavagir is what you are standing in. <laughs> Does the cat belong to you? What cat? Oh, not at all. I belong to him. You know how cats are, after all. What cat? He's a horrendous master, too. That is what I call him. Horrendous. Cute name, is it not? <laughs> what cat? There is no cat. There's a bird. Can you recommend me a book? So you want to be a hero, do you now? Well, I have just the book for you. But you will have to find it first. Because a book earned is a book saved. I will give you this note with a clue. And if you can find the book, it is yours. Ooh. I wish you... Oh, it is very much... Uh, alright, well, let's play this little scavenger hunt, and I think we ought to take a little bit of a break here. Gotta start writing that Wizard of Oz episode, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, this? It was written for the lack of a better word, an indecipherable scribble handwriting. Can't make out any of it. Perhaps someone at the library can help. Alright, magical map. Letter to lift. Oh, yeah, right. Um... Oh, do not give up so soon. There is a book waiting for you. Okay. What am I supposed to do with that? Using a book on deciphering esoteric handwriting, you manage to decode the letters. You're still not where they mean, though. Maybe there's something else for you to find the book you're looking for. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm just clicking manic manically. Alright. I figured out the handwriting enough to slowly make out the letters, but in language you're unfamiliar with. Okay. Please be careful. Let's see. Cryptography and perhaps with text. Please be careful. Shut up! Not Shut up! Not I just want to look at the box! Do rem please be. Please be. Do remain. All right. Fuck it. Manic clicking time. Hello, puppy. Let's well, talk to every animal. It's wonderful. Uh, whoop. Reverse. More books upstairs? So I'm not finding anything down here to help me out. Um uh ghost. Well, whatever, I already have something to do. There we go. Uh you ghost, you can wait. Whatever. Don't care. Tediously you look up the words of the dictionary and write the translations on the back. You think of some kind of a poem. Uh goes the brave warrior seeing an armed opponent swiftly runs away. 
Hmm. Alright, I'll come back to that ghost. so soon. Hmm. The brave warrior seeing an armed opponent swiftly runs away. Oh, it's, uh, what's his name? Here, I can give him that, uh, that letter while I'm at it. There you go, man. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you. Since this letter is really important to me, I shall give you ten silver for your trouble. I have a request for you as well. I would like to send flowers to Lithrasir, but they are too hard to find in winter. Mind you, not those dangerous frost flowers that grow near Yarnvidir. I mean real flowers. Since you travel more than I do, perhaps this is something you can help me with. Alright. I will try. Page through the poetry books for reference, so you finally match the note with the classic haiku by the famous strategist Moon Tzu. You still don't find the book. That librarian sure is cryptic. Ancient art of fighting. Fighting books are over here. Yay! Got it. What is it? Uh, The Way of the Warrior by Moon Tzu. Well, let's read it. Take out the book and start to read it. Concerns the use of subterfuge and misdirection, what Moonsu calls the honorable combat. Whole chapter in faints in melee combat, which you study carefully for some useful points in your, next inev in your inevitable next fight. Your strikes will be more accurate if you use two different attacks in a row instead of the same attack twice. Then you get a section of spell casting, which you don't need to worry about. Uh, cool. No, no, no. You go ahead and keep that. It is a gift because you are busy saving the world and all. And go just in a patchwork and rags, pieces of cloak. Yeah, she spots you, she grins at you. Well, let's go talk to that ghost and then I think it's time for a break because I'm really curious and he's gone. Great. I hope I didn't miss like my one and only chance to talk to that thing. What time of day is it anyway? On a map, active weapon, sleep for the night. Afternoon. So oddly enough, our animal can is like the highest thing. Maneuvers, faint. Oh. Cool. All right, let's go over here and save. 